hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're joining me for the first time today's video is gonna be a crochet tutorial on these uh passion trees some people call it spring trees and some people call it passion trees so and this is a crochet rubber band method and this air was sent to me from amazon by this company called yebo yebo and this is how the packaging looks like i received four packs of these and the color I chose is color TIB350. I mean, this is how it came. And this is what you get. And one, like, everything here is 30 pieces in total. In total. I, I used three packs, even though I didn't finish the all three packs. So, if you're trying to get, uh, depending on how big you want it to be. So, you may want to use four packs or three packs. So, well, this is, I only use just... Uh, three packs and I didn't finish the whole three packs. I still have some some pieces left here So I didn't use the whole uh, Three packs so they are from like I said they are from Amazon and I'm gonna add the link down I'm gonna have the link down in my description box. So if you want to this is a little bit time-consuming I'm not gonna say oh it's like two hours. No, it's not, it wasn't two hours. I started last night and I finished it this money so it takes me some time and i think because i was doing some other things moving around i was just you know braiding my hair going around but yeah it's, i think if you sit down in a place and just focus on this it's probably not gonna take you a long time i did spend a lot of time making this hair i'm still gonna trim the kind of like do something to the mouth because i don't like the way it's looking okay guys so um this is what I have. I started doing this last night and I'm going to finish it this morning. So all I did is I stretched my hair depending on how big and how small you want it to be. So I stretched my hair and I used edge control at the root. Then I used a rubber band to like hook it up. And this is what I have left. So yeah, it's, here is one. I'm not going to unravel the hair so i'm gonna use this this way and i'm gonna let you guys see how it's gonna look so you want to twist it in a awkward way because if you twist it the right way you normally twist your hair it's gonna it's not gonna turn her right so i'm gonna show you guys here with with this um twist without unraveling the twist and let you guys see how it's gonna look so with i'm um, right now i'm not using the crochet pin so all I did is just just take this take this across my hair then use my hair to be told like like so so then I'm gonna braid Then after I put it for like just some point, then I'm gonna split my hair into two, just like so. Then normally I always twist my hair this way, but this time around I'm gonna twist it the other way. So you guys can see the different this I unravel this and this one I didn't unravel this one. So this one was unraveled and this one was just the normal way the hair came. So you guys can tell the different it's more like a tight tight twist. And this one's more like a just a rough one. So what if I twisted the normal way? The normal way you like the normal way you normally twist your hair. This is the normal way. It's more faster, so. This is for my babies. Yes, you see that. I mean, it's probably gonna be for this this one. I do like it. I like the way it looks. 
but yeah that is a normal it's kind of like it looks different so with the crochet using the crochet pin slide it through your hair then wrap it up so you want a big one just like so then use this as a top then you want to start braiding with your hair be the, the torch to braid with so when you get to a point then you want to split your hair into two then start twisting So it's better to it's better if you use like a black rubber band because I was out of black so that's why I use some colored rubber band. So you take your crochet pin, slide it through. Then you wanna take just one for half. Then you, your hair should be the toad hair to braid then you start braiding. So when you get to a point you wanna split your hair into two. That way. Then you twist the opposite way. So without using the crochet pin, it's even more. I prefer it. I think it's more easier. All you need to do is just take the hair across your hair. That way, then to braid it. Then you split your hair into two. And it's very twisty. Um, right now I'm applying this Echo Style Gel because my hair is very thick. So the crochet method, slide your crochet pin and see the hair that way and then you bring one and half. So 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 you're gonna braid Start braiding first before twisting. Then later you wanna split your hair into two. Then you twist. This is for my babies.
So thanks for watching this video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video um hope you guys have a wonderful new year and i hope this year turns out beautiful and awesome and amazing for you all